Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Danny Malcolm. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I've got a something different. I'm going to be running through a full iron club fit for myself, testing out the new Mizuno Pro irons. So we've got the Mizuno Pro 241s, we've got the 243s, and we've got the 245s. So I'm looking to replace my previous model of the 223s for the coming couple of seasons. So I've been super excited to, for these to come into the studio. So we're gonna go through a full iron fit today, testing out the different heads, different shafts, and seeing what comes out best. So yeah, let's get into it guys, let's go through it. All right, so first of all, when we're doing a club fit, normally I would run through height, arm length, a level one club fit if you like. I already know that the standard length's good for me. So I'm gonna skip that piece for this video and run straight through to utilizing the Swing DNA Mizuno shaft optimizer to see what kind of shafts will be good for me at the moment. I know my club speed has reduced. My previous irons fitted a couple of years ago prior to some hip issues slowing me down a little bit were the 223s with the Project X low spin. 6.5s, 125 grams. Don't think they're gonna be quite right for me now. I did have to, yeah, back then, that was, that was what, what was required, but let's see what comes up today. All right, all right, so all set to go here, guys. We've got the 243 head on just to test for shafts. So we're gonna begin shaft optimizer. We're gonna hit three shots, and based on my club speed, tempo, etc., it's gonna recommend some shafts that we'll start to try in the fitting as we try the heads. I'm not looking at the results there so much, guys. Let's just see what comes out here on the shaft optimizer. Okay. So based on that club speed, and based on how I swing, essentially, let's see what, uh, let's see what comes. Okay, great. So from a shaft perspective there, you'll see it's recommended something a bit lighter than what I've previously had, even though my head speed is up there at close to 90 mile an hour, mid-tempo, something around a 120 gram mark. We've got the Project X in the low spin, and then we've got some different options uh, on there as well. So we'll certainly start with the Project X. That's a shaft I used to have a number of years ago as well in a 6.0, then my speed got a bit quicker. I used to spin it a bit too much, hence why going into the Project X LS last time around, and with the RB Tor Ball, which is a low penetrating, lower full game spin ball, I also increased, sorry, decreased and strengthened my lofts one degree in my previous irons to keep the spin off everything. So I feel my swing dynamics have changed a bit. I've certainly slowed down a hair, and so this is going to be really interesting. So uh, let's let's try some of these shafts in with the current heads. All right, guys. So first up, we've got the Mizuno Pro Two Four One. Now, just a beautiful, beautiful looking iron. The traditional muscle back, and they've had years and decades of of really refining and getting this from, obviously feedback from tall players who, who use these models over the years. And so this is just an absolutely stunning looking club. And so the 241 on these, these clubs are on the uh, hosel, uh, sorry, on the neck there. Uh, same as the 243s, the 245s when we get to, you'll see a slight change with where they've got it because these do look quite similar to the 245s, just, just obviously smaller. Excited to try these. Again, I'm not sure if these are going to be right for me given my current level of play, which is, which is not competitive these days. I love playing, love playing for fun. Busy family, so when I go out there, I do feel I might need a little bit more performance, a little bit more forgiveness in my heads, uh, but we'll see. Let's give it a go. So we'll go five shots here with the 241s, with the Project X 6.0. I can certainly feel some slight off center hits here, which are vibrating a little bit through the fingers. So I can certainly feel there's not heaps of forgiveness in this, but it's a beautiful looking club. Beautiful looking club.
Okay, it's not a bad little grouping there. Let's take a look at some of the data. So not too bad with the strike. But again, if you're not quite stuck in the middle, you certainly, uh, certainly feel it. So good start. We'll start to compare that with some of the others. So yes, my speed has certainly gone down a little bit. That did used to be up at above 90 for a 7.9. So that's really interesting to see. Ball speed coming out here at 116 miles an hour. Good, good spin rates in terms of the launch window. Let's have a look. It's a beautiful launch window. Landing angle is a, a touch steep for what I'd like. Uh, but looking to launch within sort of 16, 18 degrees would be good. Uh, with, yeah, between six, six and a half thousand spin would be good for where I'm at. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good, good start. Beautiful irons. Indoors here, having a, a lot of hits one after the other. Easy to get in the flow. Wondering how that would be out on the course. Feeling a bit rusty. Don't know, we'll see. All right, so next up is the 243 iron. Beautiful, beautiful looking iron. So what I notice on this one, comparable to my previous irons, is a slightly thinner top line. So this head as a whole is just slightly more compact. It's a slightly thinner sole now with a wraparound on the sole here. Beautiful, beautiful looking iron. So this, from what I hear, has that nice bit of performance in there. A little bit, little bit of forgiveness in there, but still with those beautiful looks. So really excited to, to give, this one a, give this one a go. So here we are. Beautiful feel off the face. And these lofts on these clubs here are, are a little bit stronger. Ball speed should be a little bit higher off these with the COR slightly increased and certainly high launch in the lower irons. Took that one a hair there. Maybe some rusty swings in here, folks. It's a beautiful feeling iron, really, really nice. So call that one a little bit, a little bit off the bottom. Okay, let's have a look at those results there. All right, so from a dispersion perspective, a little bit wider on that one, on those five. Ball speed is, is increased a touch, which we'd expect to see, certainly from a, a loft perspective, being stronger in a higher COR, we'd expect to see that. I'm just launching the hair lower and just carrying slightly further as well so no surprises there with that one okay beautiful line beautiful line let's move on to the 245 okay so now it's time to try the Mizuno Pro 245 now at first glances here if you just have that in your golf bag you'd be mistaken <laughs> you could think that that might actually be a muscle back that's in your bag there and they've actually printed the 245 on the 245 on the back of the head so that perhaps you don't get too confused and I actually think it is a muscle back. Looking from the top, comparable to the 241, you'll see it is noticeably bigger, but not too big. That wouldn't really put me off too much. And obviously a thicker sole, again, just for a little bit more forgiveness through the turf. So overall, beautiful, beautiful looking first impressions. So they've got here the hollow body, I believe two through to a time tungsten weights in a two through to seven iron to again increase performance higher ball speeds more forgiveness effectively to you and i so let's uh, let's hit five with this one here really interested to see how this one comes out my first thoughts without having gone through this process hearing about the the clubs before actually seeing them and testing them is that this might be closer to where i thought i might be going given that my play and practice time is limited with family and, and, and busy coaching. So this will be very interesting to see. So certainly noticeably longer at address and a noticeably thicker top line, but it's not too, 
it's not too off-putting so Whew. came off like a rocket that one lofts here on based on a seven iron four degrees stronger than the two four ones two degrees stronger than the two four threes Whew, I felt good there So for someone that's used to be playing smaller compact heads with a thinner top line, it's different, it's certainly different. Definitely didn't get in the middle of the face there. Look how that's still come out. Wow, okay. That's the kind of forgiveness that might be needed on the golf course when you're not in the flow here in the studio. Interesting. Yeah, these do feel good. Wow, these do feel good. Hmm, <laughs> interesting, okay. Certainly haven't hit those last few and, and they've actually come out, look at that. Ooh, ooh, that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting, so at first glance, says, wouldn't necessarily be the club I would pick given my history, but then I don't play, I don't play as much as I used to, that is for sure. And so looking at the dispersion there, that's actually quite tight grouping with some pretty ropey swings really. It feels very rusty from a swing perspective and the two, four, fives there in blue versus two, four, threes in white and the two, four, ones in, in orange. And, and that's what you'd expect to see from a carry perspective, the differences here in terms of sort of what we've got here, the two four ones carrying there at 161, going up to 164 in the two four threes and 173. So big jump there in the two four fives. And ball speed starts to go up as you can see. And, and, and you'd expect that given, given what we hear from Mizuno. So yeah, really, really interesting. That's, uh, that's very interesting. Obviously the distance much, much greater. From a, I guess, consistency standpoint, the spin looked to be a little bit different here. Uh, but then again, I certainly weren't, wasn't hitting the middle of the face consistently. So <laughs> uh, and, and spin would come down, launch angles come down as well. Landing angles okay there. So all these numbers you'd expect to see. So a fairly consistent swing from, from my part, but certainly not, not dialed in. We're starting to see what we'd actually expect with these clubs. That is food for thought. Two, four, fives, again, not traditionally what I'd pick in terms of the head and, and, the, and the look from above. However, performance certainly has the performance in there for someone who's not playing a whole heap. So, ooh, 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 ooh. food for thought, food for thought. It's a tough one. I really would like that forgiveness potentially here for a combo set. I'm thinking, potentially with your, you know, longer to mid irons, potentially to the seven here, given that you've got the tungsten weight all the way through to the seven, maybe then transitioning for an eight, nine pitch in terms of the two, four threes. Oh, I mean, it would be nice to have your long irons in, in the two, four fives, and then the, your short irons in the two, four ones for sure. But I feel that the, the, the gapping would be a little bit off there in terms of the ball speeds coming off these in say, the six and the sevens and then transitioning into a into a two or four one i don't think it's going to work from a gapping perspective so oh it's a tough one guys all beautiful irons and they're all doing exactly what they're saying they should do so a really really interesting one we're going to come back to the two four threes second time around Let's give them a go okay guys we're coming back to the two four threes back with the project x which is shaft which i feel just Something I'm very familiar with. Yes, it's low launch, low spin, but the lighter shaft is really helping me versus the 125 from the previous two years in terms of the Project X LS. So really liking this shaft, how it's performed. It was number one on my recommendations with the swing DNA. So we're gonna try back with a 243 head with a possibility here to blend, to blend the set. 
So excited to give this go for a second time. We'll dial in the line angles as well. As you'll see my dynamic line down there on the bottom right, uh, 58, averaging around 58 degrees. So that's a, a fifth, you know, four or so degrees less or flatter than, than the standard lie angle here for the Mizunos, which is uh, 61.5. So previously I was too flat. I like to have my hands nice and low through impact. So we may need to just get those altered again. And you can see a tendency for my ball to be finishing a, a touch left. So I like to reduce that left one if I can as well. So lie angle is obviously always important guys when you get in the fitting ensure it matches your turf and traction and also your ball flight preference. There we go, second time around, two, four, threes. Oh, these are just looking fantastic. Oh, they just feel beautiful, beautiful. Oh. Nothing feels like a Mizuno, as they say. I feel like I might just end it there. Oh, that feels great. Gee, they feel good. Oh, they look good, guys. They look good. They feel good. <laughs> Left that one out there a little bit. Oh, no, nice. still a bit of forgiveness in that. There we are. Obviously, you can see the ball speed's dropping off here comparable to the 245s. Oh, guys, these are just, these are just beautiful. Really, really, really nice. I think there's enough forgiveness in those guys to yeah, I think there's enough forgiveness in those. Do we go long irons in those or do we go long irons in the 245s? Oh, oh, food for thought, guys, food for thought. I'm still not counting out the muscle backs in the short irons too. So not fully confirmed there, guys, what I'm going to go with, but it's been a wonderful test to see doing exactly what they said they should do. So you've got the 241s, the muscle back, which... Just beautiful, beautiful, but obviously not as forgiving. So you have to be pretty much on it with those. You've got the 243s with a beautiful compact look, which, uh, which the better player will, will love. That's beautiful, thinner top line, thinner sole with the wraparound. Still with the performance in there, bit of forgiveness, ball speed. And then you've got the 245, which is basically is a heck of a lot of performance in what is a beautiful looking head and but for, for the better player that's used to a smaller compact head it's probably for me I wouldn't go all the set in that potentially the long irons and then maybe blending some two four threes potentially some muscle backs in there as well but they felt beautiful performed beautifully and yeah food for thought guys that was that was, that was a really enjoyable process any questions on that, let me know, guys. And uh, yeah, any comments, please leave them below. Hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you again soon.